warm up day with the mother of all heat waves, pun intended. Okay. Pun intended is supposed to be before, not after. The warm up day, pun intended, for the mother of all heat waves for Portland is complete. So now it's time for the weekend update on what's going to be happening the next couple days. The watches and warnings haven't really changed much. The only change of note is that the northern Oregon coast and the southern Washington coast now are under the excessive heat warning as confidence grows of hot temperatures out there as well, possibly even challenging your all-time records there. So the setup, nothing's changed since yesterday. I will note one thing that I did not note the last couple days is that the upper level low that was going to cool us off on Monday has been pushed back to Monday or Tuesday, depending on your location. And that upper level low, because it's pushing against the high pressure, will warm us up a couple of degrees that we otherwise wouldn't have had if that upper level low didn't exist. That combined with arguably the strongest high pressure we've ever seen, or at least not in a very long time, both those factors combined are leading to the extremely hot temperatures. Speaking of how rare this heat wave is, I found in the summertime, nothing comparable west of the Cascades. If I factor in springtime temperature anomaly, I would estimate this is about a 1 in 100 year event. What I mean by springtime temperature anomalies is right now, our days are the longest. That gives us the greatest potential for larger temperature anomalies. So a 36 degree temperature anomaly now would only be about 25 in March or 16 in January. So things change as the year progresses. East of the Cascades. I'm a little uncertain on this, but heat waves of 1898 and 1961 could compare. And that depends on how hot this truly ends up, which would make this closer to a, a 1 in 25 to 1 in 50 year event. But Portland didn't make it out of the 90s, as that was just a East of the Cascades only event. This, both sides of the Cascades will get involved in it. Just to show how confident we are here, an example of this is just one model. This tends to be one of the more reliable ones that takes regional factors into consideration. But this is up made up at the University of Washington for Portland. It's showing 116 degrees. And this is a, a snapshot for 4 p.m. on Monday. It's the Cascades widespread 110 and above. So that's why all of us meteorologists are so confident that extremely hot temperatures are going to occur. The comparison of all the TV station websites Nothing really has changed Saturday and Sunday. We're still saying about mid-100s on Saturday, around 110 on, on Sunday. And Monday, a lot of us, myself included with my seven-day, have upped our temperatures on Monday as confidence is now growing that it's not going to be the lower end 90-degree solution. It'll actually be closer to the 110 to 115 area. Now for my forecast, Sunday temperatures. The coast, I bumped the temperatures up a couple of degrees. Coos Bay and anywhere pretty much from Lincoln City South, you'll probably stay in the 70s, maybe hit 80 if you're a little ways inland. But once you start getting north of Tillamook or so, you get into the 90s, or in the case of Forks, 100 degrees. Central Valleys, I generally bumped up temperatures slightly as well, except for Medford. Corvallis now 112, Portland 113, Seattle, you're up above 100 only for the second time in history, if this verifies. East of the Cascades, higher elevations around 100 to 105, but in the lower elevations, you're looking at 110 or a little bit above that for Monday. Some areas cool off, mainly the further south or the further west you are. So Corvallis has a big cool down. Medford also cools down a little bit, but still very hot. Coos, Coos Bay and the Central Oregon Coast, you're not really going to feel difference. But as you go further north, 
to, I would say, about where Grays Harbor is, you're going to experience a significant cooldown too. Anywhere north of that, you're not going to experience much of a cooldown. Seattle, that's when I'm expecting your highest temperature, but anywhere east of the Cascades, it's almost certainly going to be hotter than Sunday. With widespread 110 plus, anywhere in the Columbia Basin and the higher elevations from anywhere from about 102 to 107, depending on your location. So for the seven day forecast for Portland, confidence is increasing with Monday, as I mentioned, and as I showed you with one of the models, these could be considered conservative numbers. Many of the computer models and data sets have been showing that these numbers could be actually 115, 116. My forecast of 112 two days ago was considered aggressive back then. Now it's conservative. So 107 Saturday, back to back 113 degree days on Sunday and Monday. The 107 is the record. I also upped the overnight low to 82 degrees from Sunday to Monday. Even though I don't have the special note for Monday, the same thing applies that it will likely only be in isolated areas the further north and east you go. Portland has the highest chance, but if you're in the outlying areas, probably closer to 70 to 75 degrees. Starts to cool off on Tuesday before just back to normal heat, but still hot Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And preliminary models are showing that it's probably going to stay in the 90s on up through the 4th of July weekend in Portland. Corvallis is slightly cooler through that extended period and much cooler through the short term, minus Saturday and Sunday. Also projecting your all-time record high temperature on Sunday with 112 degrees after the 106 on Saturday. Lows are slightly more reasonable, just in the lower 70s. I raised Sunday night to Monday's low as the upper level low timing has been delayed a little bit. But the cool down should still be on schedule for that for anyone in the South Valley. A couple days in the 80s before getting back up into the night low, lower 90 degree. And lows should remain in the lower 60s. So I will come out with another update tomorrow and Sunday at the bare minimum. And otherwise, stay cool and take care.